All right, so here I want to use the layered part of a sound to add variation to another sound. I'm using an instrument rack to layer the sounds, and here I'm using a plugin called Big Kick to create the main kick sound. In the next layer, I've isolated a loop in the snare to layer in with the kick. In the final layer, I've isolated loop at start of another kick. And here's how they sound together. In the snare sound layer, I've assigned various parameters of simpler to macros in an instrument rack. And here I've just assigned the decay of the other kick layer. And I've changed the values of some of these parameters by drawing in automation into the arrangement view. What I want to do is keep the main kick sound the same and adjust only the layered sounds. All right, so here's a comparison between kick one and kick two. And here I've just varied the automation in the layered parts to create some more movement in the kick loop. Now I've duplicated the kick track and slightly changed some of the settings. I've turned off the MIDI pitch effect and I've mapped some different parameters to the macros in the instrument rack. For example, I've assigned the kick layers transpose to a macro. And I've used an EQ to shape the entire kick sound differently. And again, I've automated the parameters of the layers to create some variation. And I've duplicated the kick track one more time and again made some more adjustments. And looped a different region in the snare layer. And again, made small changes as to what is assigned to the macros. and change the EQ settings again. And I'm also using a filter to create extra movement. An LFO is controlling the lower band and the other band is automated within Ableton. And finally, I've used the same principle for a snare track. So I've laid the snare with a sample of crushing glass, signed some of its parameters to macro knobs and automated them. Answers are at the age of experience. Not in the knowledge about experience.